Hello everyone, I'm Mike Manjos and welcome to Market Wrap, a weekly overview to what's driving the luxury watch industry. So it was a great weekend last weekend, got to drop Mitchell at college, got to spend a night in Newport with my wife, which was amazing. It was only one night, but just to be out and about and away from home felt great. She loved it. It was really, really nice. Now we're back in Philly and got to get in some awesome watches this week. So we're going to cover three of them. Uh, it was a hard choice, though, because I had a couple of other pieces that maybe we'll squeeze into next week. But the first one we're going to talk about is an Audemars Dual Time, the 25730 TT. So this piece is a dual time, 36 millimeter, but in tantalum with a steel bezel. So what I love about this watch is even though it's 36 millimeters, it's fairly thin, it's got great heft to it because it's made out of tantalum. I don't even know what tantalum is exactly, but it's this gray material. It feels fantastic. It's a super rare piece because 99% of these pieces end up in steel. So it's one I love and I know will not last very long. The second piece is a Blanc Pond, the 50 Fathoms. Uh, I'm not usually the biggest Blanc Pond fan, but this is probably my favorite Blanc Pond. It's the tribute to Milspec. Uh, it's a remake of a piece they did from the 50s. Just a cool steel sports watch, originally made for the French divers, the frogmen. Um, and again, it's an awesome piece. It was a limited edition in 2017 to 500. So again, we don't see a lot of them, but a great piece to have for inventory. And the last piece is the Resins. Now, this one is a Type 1 Slim, so it's their new version. Um, they only make about 300 watches a year, so we don't get a lot of pre-owned in. Um, and this being the new version is very rare for us to have. I'm a huge fan of resins. I've gotten to meet Benoit, um, super interesting guy. It's just a very unique watch. Love the concept, got to wear a five about a year ago for a while. Um, awesome piece, I think that'll go quickly as well. So it's an interesting market we're living in today and a rapidly rising market. Uh, it always makes you wonder, are we in a bubble? Um, we get this question all the time. It's always hardest to see a bubble when you're in it, but let's look at what's happening in the market. So the Jorn market has seen dramatic and rapid growth. Uh, I believe it's due to a few factors. One is truly, Jorns are some of the rarest pieces in the market. Uh, they only make between seven or 800 pieces a year. Many of the special pieces were made in extremely limited numbers with many of them being single digits. So there may only be five or eight of a specific piece in the world ever made. So when one hits the market, it can easily set a new bar. Uh, even the most common Jorns, the Chronometro Blue, has only produced less than 200 watches a year for the last few years, and eventually he will stop making that. So even the, the most common mass-produced, if you can even use that word for Jorn, uh, is super rare. There were less than 2,000 brass movements ever made, and they will never produce more. So due to this rarity, I believe with the growth in social media, with the interest in the auction results, I think what we're seeing in Jorn is actually a market reset. Um, I don't think we're gonna go backwards. I think there's focus collectors that are chasing these watches. There's very, very few, so as soon as they're hitting the market, they're getting scooped up. So I think this is something that's gonna reset the market at this level, and I think it could still even go further from here. Rolex is the other piece we've seen a big jump in. Um, Rolex, even with shipping large numbers, now that retail is open, uh, the prices continue to rise and shortages are global. Um, we have offices in Switzerland, Hong Kong, Singapore, the US, every place has empty cases. Um, while I understand Hulks and Batmans, which are no longer produced, I'm certainly a little nervous about subs and Daytonas. Um, these are watches that were produced in decent quantities. The subs are still going on. Now that may change next week. We'll talk about that later. But yesterday a dealer was asking 11.5 for a stainless steel sub. This is a watch that used to sit in the case. I don't understand why when the new one comes out, people won't want the new one. So that's a market that scares me and I think could be a bubble. Uh, the Daytonas are trading well over 25,000 for whites now, heading quickly towards $30,000. I think that's another piece that you know, we might see come back to reality in a couple of weeks. Rolex has officially announced now that September 1, new references are coming out. Uh, they are teasing the product. Uh, there's water and a blue triangle on the site as of this morning. Um, I'm assuming that means we're going to see a new sub, maybe a deep sea, but certainly some new sport collections, which will again drive the market. So stay tuned for next week. It'll be a super exciting show because we'll be talking about the new Rolexes that are about to hit the market.
The last thing we're going to cover is what we are buying. Um, Hulks is a big focus right now. Uh, that market is running up. We've got about a dozen in stock now, and we're trying to build up that inventory on that assumption that they're going to go away next week. I think it's one of the most iconic pieces they ever made. That green green is awesome. And I think we'll see those hit new levels uh, over the next few weeks. Um, we're also expanding into the Audemars Royal Oaks. Also, like this 36 that we saw earlier, there's some great pieces and real interest in the Royal Oaks right now. And the last pieces we're chasing is paddocks, 3940s specifically. The Perpetual Calendar is probably the most iconic paddock. It's one of my favorites. People are finally starting to understand the importance of that reference. And I think that's something that's going to take off over the next few years. Thanks for watching. Remember to like, comment, subscribe, and share. And always feel free to reach out to our team with any questions or inquiries about anything you've seen here.